registering voters and then getting them to the polls. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Peggy Dater. She's chair of the Get Out the Vote Collaborative Committee of the Bucks County Women's Advocacy Coalition. She's also co-president of the League of Women Voters of Bucks County. Thanks so much for being with us. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you. Uh, let's talk a little bit about voter registration mm -hmm. in Bucks County. You do have a high rate of individuals who are registered voters. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that you aren't trying to get more people registered to vote, including targeted groups like young people. Right. Um, that is one of our challenges in the county is that many people are already registered so we have to be very strate strategic in how we go about trying to figure out how to spend our uh, volunteer time to register voters. So we have been meeting with uh, school district superintendents to talk about how we can best uh, work in their schools to get students to register. One technique being working with some of the school groups and teaching them how to register to kids to vote instead of us coming in, which is our old method of registering voters. And that's one of the things that you're doing. You also have a toolkit where you've worked with nonprofit mm -hmm. organizations as well as schools. Correct. And that toolkit is the most comprehensive thing you've ever seen in regards to how to register people to vote, how to use the voting machines, the dates of the election, why you would vote for particular uh, ca not candidates, but various offices. Like, why are municipal elections important to the average person? Why should you go and vote in a municipal election? And, an example being that they, uh, the municipal elections or the school boards would set your taxes for you, and and that will affect you very directly. So and, it's and that's you an important point because mm -hmm. when we talk about different levels of voting, different categories of voting, people may be apt to go out and vote for a presidential election, right. but they don't necessarily go out when it's a local election mm -hmm. or it's an election uh, for legislative offices. Mm -hmm. But you say it's important to vote for every election. Absolutely. Every election matters. Every election. And the non-presidential ones are probably the most important elections for people to vote in. And part of the challenge is that people don't know the candidates and they don't really know the issues. So another strategy of the League and the Collaborative is to educate voters about the candidates. And that's one of the things you're doing as well. You do have candidate forums. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, we have in Bucks County we have um, monthly educational programs around the issues such as the environment or um, why the courts matter and things like that, the topics that people should know about when trying to select a candidate, but then we also have the candidate forums where the candidates come in a debate type format with a nonpartisan league moderator who answers, asks questions, and then the communities are uh, able to ask questions themselves of the candidates, and you have anyone who's running that's agreed to be there is able to uh, answer the questions, and you can really compare the way one person as answers a question to, to another one directly. And uh, we just have a short time left, but you say mm -hmm. not only is it imp important to be registered, but it's important to go out and vote Absolutely. in every election. Absolutely. We, we don't really make it real easy in Pennsylvania for people to vote. Other states have techniques like um, early, early voting and so forth. Pennsylvania, you have to get to the polls on poll day and be there. You can get an absentee ballot, but that must be requested and submitted a week before the election. So it, it's really important to people to pay attention to when the election day is and get to those polls. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. We've been talking with Peggy Dater. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Newsmakers.